Welcome to another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks. My name is Bobby McCullough, Solutions Engineer with Flycast Partners. Today we're going to talk about how to use custom objects with Workflow Automator. Custom objects are a tool inside Fresh Service to give you the ability to manage data that you might need to utilize in your workflow automations, but that data is beyond what you already have out of the box available to store in the system. You've got the ability to store customers, you've got assets, you've got your tickets, you've got locations and all those type of things. But a custom object allows you to create something outside those objects that you can then take advantage of in a workflow automator. It's just some additional data. One of the primary uses is, is an application owner matrix. But you can also do things where you can create, and, and this, this is an out-of-the-box example, where you've got some specific approvals for particular service items. Maybe you need a, someone needs a replacement security card. It's just not okay to just generate those, that maybe somebody in security has to initiate that approval. It's different than a manager for someone. So the, the custom object allows you to store that data uh, and then utilize that data in a workflow. So this is an example of a custom object. This is where we're gonna store uh, some application owner data. So very simple to create custom object you simply add a field you're going to give it a title you're going to select a field type and whether or not that field is required you're just going to repeat that for all the fields that you need within your object now in this example as I said we're gonna we're looking at how to store application owner data so we've got four fields we've got a field for the application and then we've got uh, three lookup fields that are looking up against all the users to define up to three owners for the application. If we navigate to the object records, we can see here we've got a couple of applications that we've defined, Adobe Design as well as Photoshop. And then we've got three owners for those applications. Now, the idea here is that the owner could be requesting someone to have access to the application or someone could be requesting simply uh, access to the application and we need that owner to approve whether or not that user can have access to that application so we want to utilize this data within a, a workflow automator so very very simple uh, we've got a workflow automator here for our app owner approval we look to see a service request is raised it's for one of our apps that we're looking for. If it is, then we're going to read the data from that app to bring the owners of that app in as variables into the workflow. And then we're going to check to see if the requester of the ticket is one of those owners. If they are an owner and no approval is required, then we can go ahead and and update the permissions for the application. If though they, uh, the requester is not an app owner, then we can send an approval to all of those app owners. The app owners that we pulled in as variables, we'll send emails to those owners and allow them, uh, the first person to approve it, to approve it, or the first person to reject it, to reject it. When that happens, we can obviously send that denial email. If it's approved, then we can go ahead and take action. Maybe it's automatically providing access to that application. Maybe it's creating a task so the software team can provide access to that application. In either instance, this is gonna give you the ability to store that app owner data so that you can easily dynamically include them in a workflow to either bypass the approval or to initiate an approval to those users. Custom objects are gonna allow you to store data outside the normal data set that you might manage within Fresh Service. And the benefit that it provides is making that data available then to be utilized in workflow automators so that you can do things as we did in this example, like uh, dynamically 
look for owners of an application, utilize those owners in a workflow to generate approvals. Thank you for watching another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks presented by Flycast Partners. If you like our videos and this content, please like and subscribe to always be updated on the latest tips and tricks. And if you need more Fresh Service help or resources, reach out to Flycast Partners Professional Services at info at flycastpartners.com.